Hey, Warren, I've got a question about Bitcoin. You know, Jamie Dimon called it a fraud back in October. You followed up with uh, comments in December saying that you thought it was a mirage. Jamie Dimon yesterday backed away from those comments saying that Bitcoin is a fraud. Have you rethought your position on Bitcoin? And how would you feel if some of your portfolio banks wanted to make a market in Bitcoin, wanted to trade Bitcoin, wanted to make a business out of Bitcoin trading? Yeah, well, we don't we don't tell our the banks in the portfolio anything about their operation. But uh, in terms of cryptocurrencies, generally, uh, I can say almost with certainty that that they will come to a bad ending. Now, <laughs> when it happens or how or anything else, I don't know. But I know this: if I could buy long-term puts, if I could buy a five-year put on every one of the cryptocurrencies. I'd be glad to do it, but I would never short a dime's worth. Have because, you thought about you know, trading the futures talking, to take a negative position on Bitcoin? No. You would not do that? No. There's no, re there, there's no reason. I, I get into tr enough trouble with things I think I know something about. Why in the world should I take a long or short position in something I don't know anything about? So, uh, you know, we don't have to know what cocoa beans are going to do or, 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 any, or cryptocurrencies. We just have to focus on eight or ten stocks that businesses basically that we think are decent businesses uh, but i do think that uh, I, I think what's going on definitely will come to a bad ending i mean you've got virtually everybody i, I have a class i have 11 schools coming on friday the questions will be on bitcoin and I won't know the answers. <laughs> Although when we sat down, Warren, you did say I should have announced that we were getting involved in Bitcoin this morning. Well, that is true. I mean, if I, uh, to uh, <laughs> that, that would be much more interesting <laughs> to the audience that, that we were going to issue a whole series of cryptocurrencies tomorrow. But uh, we aren't, believe me. And we don't own any. We're not short any. We'll never have a position in them. Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold which if it succeeded would facilitate a lot of illicit activity. Now that is not something I think the world needs. And the fact that it's clever computer science doesn't mean that it should be widely used and that respectable people should encourage other people to speculate in it. Bitcoin reminds me of Oscar Wilde's definition of fox hunting, the pursuit of the uneatable by the unspeakable. This question comes from Raghu Bashwal, and it's for both Warren and Charlie. Now that the crypto market overall is valued at $2 trillion, do you still consider cryptos as worthless artificial gold? Well, those who know me well are just waving the red flag of the bull. <laughs> of course I hate the Bitcoin success. And... I don't welcome a currency that's so useful and to kidnappers and extortionists and so forth, nor do I like just shuffling out a few extra billions and billions and billions of dollars to somebody who just invented a new financial product out of thin air. So I think I should say modestly that I think the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. And I'll let, leave the criticism to others. <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> and this is, this is a happy example. My timing wasn't quite right. But I was invited to speak at the Council of Foreign Relations in New York on November 28, 17. And uh, I was asked, well, first question, first question I was asked. Of course, it was New York City. Um, and a lot of financial people in the room, big crowd. And someone said, what did I think of Bitcoin? And I answered with my usual tact, avoid it like the plague. And uh, so how good was that advice? Well, no, and I also added, uh, and don't tell me I'm wrong when it gets to 20,000. I'll tell you what it's worth when it gets to a dollar. <laughs> Might as well be extreme. And it got to 20,000 or almost 20,000. A week or two later, and uh, there's the descent, the descent. It's just a speculation. So, you know, maybe it will do well, maybe it won't, because speculators uh, control their own returns, and, uh, you know, they things get bid up. They don't, there's, there's no fundamental value here. And so if you have a little tiny bit of Bitcoin, I, I wouldn't con you out of it, but um, I'm disinclined to 
and to, to do it at all, as you can imagine, I wouldn't dream of doing it myself. It's one more speculation. You don't need that. Question. Jamie Dimon said it last week. Is Bitcoin a fraud? Um, there are two things that are required for a currency. You know, um, the first is that you can make transactions in it. It's a medium of exchange. And the second thing is that it's a storehold of wealth. Those are, should be the two purposes of a currency. Bitcoin today, you really can't make much transactions in it. I got Bitcoin. I want to go through the experience of spending it. It's not easy. You can't spend it very easily. Right. And in terms of a storehold of wealth, it's not an effective storehold of wealth because it's... Um, it has volatility to it, unlike gold, let's say, in which reflects the value of money. Right. It's more stable than the value of money. Bitcoin is a highly speculative market. We have these criteria for determining what a bubble is. In other words, we take these criteria. I won't get into them because it'll probably take too long. But on these criteria. And we just define a bubble based on those criteria. <clears throat> Bitcoin is a bubble. Okay? <laughs> Bitcoin is a bubble. It's a shame. It could be a currency. It, it could work, I mean, conceptually. But the amount of speculation that is going on and the lack of uh, transaction, um, the idea that um, it, it'll be private in terms right. of transaction. In terms of the, gov the government allowing it to be a private currency. Uh, right. In other words, all oh, people won't know what you're doing and right. will it be a private currency is really questionable in terms of if you look at what's being gone on in terms of governments to examine it and so on and so forth. And then when you take Bitcoin, Bitcoin, there are other cryptocurrencies. So Bitcoin might have a lose competition to another cryptocurrency. Right. And, and, and so is it a cryptocurrency bet that we're making or is a Bitcoin get bet? It's very much speculative people thinking, can I sell it at a higher price? And so it's a bubble. Some of what you just described, the need to move money from place to place, the cost of doing so, the overhead, as you put it, makes me think, believe it or not, of Bitcoin, because some people have said, hey, Bitcoin is the answer to those problems. Are you a believer? Well, Bitcoin is exciting because it shows how cheap it can be. Uh, Bitcoin is, is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to ha be physically in the same place. And, of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. The customers we're talking about aren't trying to be anonymous. You know, they're willing to be uh, known. So it, it, the Bitcoin technology is key, and you could add to it or you could build a similar technology uh, where there's enough attribution that people feel comfortable. This has nothing to do with uh, terrorism or uh, any type of, of money laundering. And Warren have weighed in on Bitcoin. Do you own any? Uh, somebody gave me some for my birthday. Uh, and then a few years later, I thought, hey, I'm going to sell that. So, no. Uh, there's some really good technology in terms of sharing databases and verifying transactions uh, that is talked about as blockchain. That is a good thing. Bitcoin and ICOs, I agree completely. Uh, it's one of the crazier speculative things where it's not, as, a, as a, an asset class, you're not producing anything. Uh, and so you shouldn't expect it to go up. Uh, it's, it's kind of a pure greater fool theory type uh, investment. Um, so... You know, I, I, I agree. I would, I would short it if there was an easy way to do it.